Welcome to Luda Bella's Broadway Boxing right here on GFL.TV and of course Comcast Sportsnet. We are at the famed BB King Blue Club and Grill in New York City. Richard Mion is alongside my broadcast partner, Brian Adams and Ronnie Shields. Two rounds in the books and we get up for round number three. As we take a look at Deshaun Johnson's corner, huffing and puffing a little bit. Not a lot of action, two rounds in the books. He's taken on a very gritty and, I, I like to call him just gritty tough veteran in the ring and Craig McEwen, a guy who's had a very good uh, track record throughout his career, fought some notable opponents, good amateur record. Um, Ronnie and I, we decided we call this the must-win fight <laughs> to kind of propel him to other venues and perhaps bigger paydays. Ryan's just waiting for fireworks. You have to wait a little bit on this one. No, I, I actually like the way um, McEwen boxing. I think anytime the crowd, the tall guys, anytime the crowd is not on their feet, cheering and clapping, you're doing well. Because it means you are perfecting the sweet science. But, but don't get me wrong, you got to be throwing punches. You just move around doing nothing. Then that's like, that's something totally different. McEwen in the black trunks, white trim. Johnson in the blue trunks again. McEwen comes in with a solid 22-3, 22-3 record, 11 knockouts. Johnson out of California, 14, 13, and five with five knockouts. But McEwen have to change it up a little. You know, he is boxing effectively. Nice shoulder there by Johnson. <laughs> That's the MMA, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, again, we mentioned the point deduction throughout his career. It happened against uh, Body. Uh, it happened uh, against a couple other fights where he's been known to he's been known to do something that he just can't get away with in the ring. And the bottom line is, you're you're going to get points deducted, and you start to get that reputation. But hey, we, we know some of the greatest of all time. Bernard Hopkins will take it to that line. Now, you know what? Prissy Zivic. Let's, let's talk about Prissy Zivic. Oh, yeah. Bernard Hopkins got nothing on Prissy Zivic. Well, that's, that's a whole different ball game. I mean, that's that's apples and oranges, my friend. <laughs> the great middleweight who did it all. I mean, he elbow, he, he knees at people and then get caught. <laughs> no, I just knew Prissy Zivic. Yeah. <laughs> He needs to put more, sneak more combinations in there. He's just throwing one or two shots. Oh. Well, actually, oh, that was not a knockdown. That was, that, was a a knockdown. that was a slip. That was a slip. That was absolutely a slip. That was not a knockdown. Every shot they must have been out of position, but it was not a knockdown. No. And it came from it came from a left hook to the body, but again, that was a slip. So they're going to rule it a knockdown nonetheless. Which after two rounds, might be very interesting going forward. Johnson misses with a right. Stalking with you and now comes back, has him up against the rope. So, that's kind of interesting. Well, oh, it'll be not really. I mean, well, it's, well, it's, when it's I say not, yeah, I mean, yes, but well, this is really it, makes interesting it, now because it makes it a 10-8 round. Yeah, and the and thing this is, is only a six-round fight. That's, that's my point. It's... Yeah, so now you got to score the fight even right now. Correct. That's why I have it. But you're still confident that. Yeah. Now let me correct myself. I said that means nothing. What I mean is the fact that it's not going to change or alter um, either guy. Right no. now, Johnson's still going to be looking at for one point and then then on outside. Yeah. And, and, um, McEwen. 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 I'm sorry. McEwen's going to continue to box and just be fluent. Would it be? Would it be irresponsible for Johnson's corner right now to tell him, hey man, you got that knockout, you got that round, you're ahead, you know, be a little more aggressive. I, I, no. You understand what I'm saying, Ronnie? <laughs> well, I mean, I would tell him to be a bit more aggressive in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really he's would. Got because he, he knocked him down, so he's got to have a little confidence. Whether it's, they, it's they could slip, yes, but they could tell me when and all they want. Whether you're going to... It's up to him to see um, how intelligent he is. Yeah. Do yeah. you believe that? I don't think he's <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So three in the books again. Craig McEwen in the black trunks and the white trim. Dokan Johnson in the blue trunks. 
trunks. Early stages round number four. We saw that slip that was ruled a knockdown. Late stages round number three. Johnson misses with a right and has a back up against the ropes. And Johnson is actually fighting the ground as if he's winning the fight. I think with Kuhn, if he's going to the body a little bit, with that with the left hand to the body. That's what do, I think that could do a lot of damage. You're right, I think the left hand would be a good punch, but I also think the right hook can be the key here. Right there, the right hook. Right. The right, right hook. Right, right there. So you look at the left hand of um of Johnson, and then look at the movement of McEwen. He's moving to his right. Look at that left hand of Johnson. Right hook right there. Yep. When he comes in, his hands are down when he punches. Look at his left hand. Every time he, he punches, he leans right. in with his left hand down. But I think I think the problem is when he's trying to throw the right hook, he he, he has nothing on it. So I don't I don't think Johnson is just gonna even you know, even say, Okay, I gotta watch out for the right hook. Because he has nothing yeah, on it. And he has if he hasn't seen it all night. Once you would, you know, the belief is, well, he hasn't thrown it all night. But, yeah, but it, could be, it could be the perfect time. He snapped that right jab right there. But Which is, that's why Johnson, please, every time he punches, and I mean every single time, he drops his left hand. No, no, absolutely. He's, oh, he, he's, had his, he's had his guard down, too, early on in this fight. Oh, oh right, tag the human right there. Oh, my goodness. Now he goes downstairs. Now he comes back with another right. Does Johnson. Good round. Yeah, Johnson is having a great I bet he came out as if he's winning. Maybe his corner hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> his corner told me he's winning. <laughs> Absolutely. I they, believe. They right? did. They, they did. Somebody <laughs> told him. Maybe they know something. He's fighting he right. fight like he's winning right now. So that's what I would do if I was in McGill Corner. Work that jab. Pop the jab. Use that reach. And then drop the right hook in. Final ten. Forget about yeah. that left hand. Oh, and he came back with another right. Does Johnson? John, you talk about stealing rounds. Absolutely. That, that, you got to fight now. You got to fight now. Now you got to fight. And and now, if you're Johnson's corner, four rounds in the books. Hey, guess what? You got him right where you want him. If you're Craig McEwen's corner, you, hey, what are you doing? Why are you well, making? Why, why are you letting this guy hang around? Absolutely. I, I think I think the corner has a lot of work to do right now because you know you gotta it's, tell him. Look, you're behind right now. You got dropped. It wasn't a drop, but you but you did. It, so it counts on the scorecard. You have to get in there. You have to mix it up with this guy now. You have to take it. You have to take the initiative now. 